Viral epidemics have had devastating effects on people throughout history. The spread of disease often followed hand in hand with the age of exploration. European landings onto the shores of the Americas, as well as the slave trade from Africa, brought with them old world diseases that consequently directly influenced the course of history, as we shall see. It was early June, 1837. Jacob Halsey boarded the SS St. Peter at the docks of Fort Pierre, South Dakota. The steamboat, owned by the American Fur Company, was making its way up the Missouri River, heading for Fort Union in Montana. Little did Halsey realize that a number of crew members on the boat were dying from smallpox, and it wasn't too long before he too contracted the disease. By the time the boat docked at Fort Clock, a trading post just north of Bismarck, North Dakota, Halsey was presenting symptoms of the disease. It was during these three days at Fort Clark that local native Indians of the Mandan tribe became infected. Like wildfire, the disease spread among the tribes in the area, from village to village, and by October, the population of the Mandan people dwindled from 2,000 to a mere 138. The death toll of what became the 1837 Great Plains smallpox epidemic exceeded 17,000 native Indians. This was by no means the first smallpox epidemic in the Americas, nor the most devastating. Actually, the conquest of Mexico by the conquistadores, led by Hernán Cortés in 1521, was primarily due to the crippling effect of smallpox and measles on the Aztec Empire. The Spaniards were hugely outnumbered by the Aztecs, who waged a vicious response against their attackers. However, the Aztecs had no previous experience with these illnesses, so common in Europe, Hence, in reality, the secret and ultimately the decisive weapon the Spaniards brought to the New World was the exposure to virus infections that crushed the native people of the Americas. Smallpox virus, formerly named variola, is a large brick-shaped envelope particle measuring about 350 nanometers across. It is a type 1 virus, according to Baltimore, as it contains a single linear double-stranded DNA genome, 186,000 base pairs long. The virus is airborne and infects and spreads via direct face-to-face -face exposure from one person to another. Smallpox can also be spread through direct contact with infected bodily fluids or contaminated objects such as bedding or clothing. After infecting the lungs, the virus goes on to produce horrific disfiguring blisters that completely cover the body and leads to death in 30 to 40 percent of those that have contracted the disease. One can imagine the psychological impact the Spanish invasion must have had on the Aztecs. Many of the Spanish soldiers were smallpox survivors, men that had previously been infected in Europe and thus were immune to the disease they now brought to the New World. Consequently, the natives viewed their opponents as supernatural forces, armed with special powers that protected them against the disease. Smallpox has killed millions of people throughout the history of Europe and the Far East. The most recent estimates are that just during the 20th century alone, over 300 million people died of smallpox. So, how is it none of you have ever seen smallpox in your lifetime? How is it that since 1977, not even one case of smallpox anywhere in the world has been recorded? To be honest, the answer is an amazing story, a story I promise to share in the last lesson of this course. In the following unit, we will learn about President Thomas Jefferson and how he closed the biggest real estate deal in the history of the United States, unknowing that his greatest allies were mosquitoes.